What the heck? You're doing that. Oh, yeah. Trying to get to the waterfront. I uh, do some track wheel cross on the road bike front wheel. My tiger. So that. Expecting this, just down here. Things change sometimes at such a rapid pace. I was wondering if they were gonna do anything to that side of the parking lot since they started. Maybe fix the whole thing as part of their little thingy. Dang it! And you on that side. No phone with you on our brakes. Wasn't expecting this, but whatever. Can I make it? I think I'm gonna have to hop off. Real quick. Because it's a jump. We were doing sketchy things. On camera. Uh. If I had brakes or I wasn't afraid that my cog would come off, I would have just tried to figure that out. But since I wasn't sure, since I never got on it, I said there was much of a gap, a little gap. So, yeah. Also, having the road bike vintage. Roll back on wheel. Off the road back I haven't ridden yet from a that I got a months ago. And uh, I don't wanna have any problems. something like that almost 7 p.m. felt a little better today less sick but then as the day progressed felt better in the tum tum but my head and my throat and my nose different story stop feeling one sickness and then my allergies kicking so I start feeling that no fun, especially because it's been so sneezy. But I can breathe at the moment, so that's good. Just feel mucus. I'm gonna get some mucus medicine. No, I was gonna take the other day. I looked at it, and it expired in 2009 in December. So I can chuck that bad boy in the garbage can. I, was I kept taking this, uh, those Kirkland pink, hot pink allergy pills a couple years ago. All was fine. Then all of a sudden one day, I started feeling sick. But I kept taking them. Then finally, like, wait a, wait a minute. Let me look at the expiration date. And there they were not as bad they weren't over 10 years like the mucus relief but they're a year or two three i don't know a little bit a couple months so i stopped taking them and stopped feeling sick and the realm of tum 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 aches and Wanting to vomit, that kind of sickness. Ugh. Only annoying thing about being vegetarian, I gotta check the old capsules. 
make sure they're not gelatin capsules as well as stay away from any let's say gel because it's gelatin capsules and then there's the non-gelatin capsules and gelatin has meat in it so yeah no fun just like jello I'm all congested, but I'm not. Maybe I'm a little, but it's just the mucus. It's all stuck in the old throat cavity. Hopefully, I feel better tomorrow. That I don't know. Tomorrow, one of the two day, two weeks since I felt fell ill. I haven't done much. I only ridden my bike like six times or less, maybe ten. Uh, very sporadic on the in between riding versus usually bigger gaps. Mostly because of the mucus and the constant sneezing. Ew. I can't thank you. Who am I? I'm kidding. I was watching a video, uh, live stream the other day. Kept laughing. Oh, I think it was last Tuesday. Watching Adam Pachete. Adam Machidi on the Cultaholics Twitch and he was playing Donkey Kong Country the SNES version and he kept saying fakey like he was faking someone out and I got a couple giggles since I think about the old BMX skateboarding fixed gear and rollerblading and such version of the word so i got a few chuckles let's see how dangerous i need to get my foot in before i try to go up this hill don't want to deal with it at this intersection so narrow just coming out of nowhere like it goes that way. So you know, looks like kind of going like that way. So uh, that's why it's always sketchy. Whenever the vehicle is coming from the street I just got off of or the other side or from the bridge. Plus not everyone pays attention too. There's always that factor. Always fun. Uh, so I was riding last night. Uh, I can't remember if it was on the way to Wendy's, on the way back, but all of a sudden I hear this noise. 
I think it's this. So I hold that. And it wasn't that because it was still going. I think it was on the way back. Then I think it's maybe a spoke problem. I saw another one was loose. Besides the one I broke. <coughs> There's a new one that broke. So I guess I don't think about it. <coughs> Thank you. And then I guess then I go pick up my bike this afternoon to inspect it. And somehow my left axle bolt is completely loose and I could twist it either way finger tight or take it off by hand very strange the stranger part is the wheel stayed in uh, staked the tension stayed so strange I even looked and the to see while riding, I looked down to see if it was too far right, or too far left, too close to either of the chain stairs. And each time I looked down, it was centered perfectly. So that was strange. Don't know if I've ever had that happen. Especially since I rode almost seven miles, a lot of downhill. Bit of downhill, bit of uphill, so weird, but happy. I didn't have any problems. I was out, I didn't go any further. I did have all my tools since I brought my backpack to put the fries in, so that wasn't a problem. It was just bizarre that I just heard or tapping noise I figured it out because I put my bike upside down and did a pedal and then I noticed oh it's the bolt not anything else Apparently there was a ball right today at the courthouse and they had to evacuate as you do for such. <laughs> Didn't read the article, just saw it like an hour ago or so. It was an hour. It was posted an hour before I had seen it. That must have been tense. I wonder what happened. Maybe I should have read the article. Kept sneezing. So I wasn't really in their mood to read. Because of my nose going crazy. Taxi on me. Ooh. I'm gonna go home. It looks kind of dreary, and all I have on is this long sleeve and my hat. Maybe I have pants on. No, of course I have pants on. Can't tell. Feels like rain. It doesn't smell like rain. But that doesn't always mean much. Alright, I always forget. I always forget that's a four way stop. I was thinking it's a two way. The stop's gonna sneak up on you. Oh, but I always forget. I always think it's a two way, but then I forget which way I think. 
always switch it up. It's never the same side. I'm a rebel. Didn't wear a helmet today. Didn't wear a helmet last night. Oh my. The sickness. Don't want another wear, but I should start wearing it again for safety, obviously. It doesn't do much, but you know. a little bit of help. When I flipped the bot, I think it was in 2017. Either in 2017, 2018, I think 2017. I was taking, I had sold my personal, uh, I don't know, uh, external hard drive, which I, which I wouldn't have now. Ever since I started making YouTube videos. Oh, damn. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, so I sold it. And I flipped the bars on the VMX that I had at the time. as my uh, secondary cruiser around town bike if I wanted to ride it. Or if I wanted to ride to Benicia. Uh, kind of far though. 13 plus miles, round trip, you know, I don't wear, 13.25, got any whom, so I flipped the bars, for whatever reason, I think the back wheel jammed up, or the chain slipped, nice enough, had a couple people ask me if I was okay, and I was wearing my BMX helmet, and I was happy because I hit my head. It wasn't perfect. Still had some residual, a little pain. Nothing crazy. Probably would have been a lot worse if it was my naked head. So that was nice. It probably helped me get my bearings. I sat there for like five minutes. I was like three three to five minutes in the post office. So I wasn't really worried about that. <laughs> and it was success. So I was happy about that. That it dampened the injury and the pain. Didn't really have an injury. I was just a little woozy for a couple, couple minutes. Had an offer to get taken to the hospital, but man, I'm all right. I just sat there. What do you want? Why are you going so slow? Sat there until I feel better. For like five to 10 minutes. Very weird. Used to people not going that slow to get around me. Happens occasionally, but very rarely. Most people go super quick, too close to me, or they'll go partially in the wrong lane, or fully in the wrong lane. Uh, lady was booking it, give me in my 60s, minus the lady part, decent looking back though, all right, 20 minutes, not much of a ride, <coughs> uh. like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to, Tell your friends, uh, help me out. Kind of brisk, so I got the shirt on. Don't want to go that way. This person, it's okay. Yeah, I'll go that way. A little longer. I've arrived. 
30 to 45 minutes, something like that, since I uh, started the video after I had arrived for like 10 minutes, so almost 10 minutes. Ooh. Stop, funeral, okay. Uh, that's where the bike shop used to be, to the left. Was says legacy uh, my left go over yonder uh, <laughs> I miss having a bike shop especially since it was right there so close to my house then the other one before it closed in 2019 or no 2017 2018 something like that just just as close or closer it's was handy handy because it was next door to the post office that it was going to so that was always nice it's just so expensive so I didn't always Unfortunately, support them because I couldn't always afford anything. Twelve bucks for one, two, no fun. All right. See you later.